What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Fast 709. I hate cactus tails and I'm wearing sandals. I don't wear sandals. <laughs> I hate sandals and I hate crocs. I definitely hate crocs. People that wear crocs are nasty. Alright. Let's start off with these. Got some uh, wheels, tires, 265-6018s, Mercedes, 5 lug. I'm going to be trying to see if they'll fit on this car, which I don't think they will because uh, because I need a probably gonna need a wheel spacer. So as you can see, we have the caliper here and about a lot. <laughs> um, I need some wheel spacer. Possibly, possibly not because it does have a pretty, pretty large back set right here. So we'll test those out. I'll just put them on the front. If they fit on the front, they'll obviously fit on the back. Um, so, but first, foremost, purchase this. Hopefully this, this one will work. As you guys saw in my previous video, it, the one I bought earlier did not work because it was just a lid. So, let me get this thing out. Hold on. You guys can watch me get it out. Oh, jeez. Oh, put it across this bed, maybe. Is it? Okay. So, as you can see, as you all can see, it's a box. It's a box instead of uh, just a lid. So, in here, it's a little compartment. Close that one. So these are the holes that I had thought is where it was gonna bolt onto. So, let's see. What the heck is this? Um, it looks like it. There's some holes down in there. I don't know why, how this is a storage compartment if it doesn't really store anything. Maybe a soda can? No clue, man. It's weird. Let's see. Go back here. So, we got a hole there. See a hole here. I'm sure there's a hole. Oh yeah, there's a hole there. So I don't know what this big old box thing's for right here. Um shut it. Let's see. Hopefully you don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh wow, speaker. Subwoofer. That's what that is. No, I'm just kidding. I already knew it had a subwoofer in it. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and try doing this again. Get my backpack. Oh, wait. Oh. Throw it up there. Fold the seats. Woo wee. So I still think I'm missing a piece that's gonna go here. Because as far as I can tell, that whole box sits in back there. But, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing a piece. So I asked the guy if he still had the truck. Oh, jeez. And uh, he said no, he don't have the truck anymore. Um, so it's almost like something like this here. So maybe I can just make something that goes across because you can see there's like a ridge here like something's supposed to sit in here and then go back so 
Back to square one. Back to square uno. Maybe I'll go get some tennis shoes on. Ooh. I don't like. Oh, she's, I don't like how these headrests. I'm assuming my seat is too far back. So let's try it again. Take out this subwoofer and amp. And I'm actually gonna just remove it because that new box, oh jeez, that new box has a subwoofer built in. And I guess there's an amp already in the truck. So I'll just drop my shoes off. Um yeah, let me I'll get some tools. Disconnect this. So as you can see, there's a hole there for a bolt, a hole there, ouch, and a hole there. So uh I'm okay with having that, and then maybe I'll try to figure out what piece goes here. Something has to go here, and then maybe I'll find that at the Dodge dealership or something. So for right now, we have this clip here. Which is just a clip of some sort that they cut and wired all right there. So that's pretty easy. Um, got kind of have a, a ghetto ground right there that's loose already. As you could see, I don't know why they wouldn't just stick it in the hole, but whatever. So let me get a, a couple tools. I gotta take this positive lead off and then I'll probably tape it up so that uh, it doesn't short anything out. But as of right now, this piece is off and then I'll fish the wiring for the adjustment off and uh, yeah, go from there. So let me get this out. Let me get all disconnected. Maybe the kid wants it. <clears throat> In his truck, I don't know. Maybe it'll just go in my barn. So, I'll be back. Let me get it all out, and then uh, we'll drop that. We'll drop that box in there. We'll be back. Alright, guys. As you can see, I have it installed. So, now I just need to find out. Oh, man. It's already getting warm out here. I gotta find out what size of uh, bolts I need. So, as you can see, this subwoofer box floats around in here. Um, and also, you could probably see I'm missing this piece. Somehow, somewhere, there has to be that piece. Um, but anyway, it beats uh, just having a door. So now I got a subwoofer, subwoofer, and a uh, little storage compartment. So anyway, I'm gonna try to find some bolts that'll fit, that'll work. In the meantime, I guess I'll put this speaker box somewhere. Got an Alpine amp here. Really, can't really read what it says. Um, can't really see any numbers or anything. But it bumps pretty good. It hits pretty good. So maybe the kid will want it or something. Um, I think he had or we got one of these same amps from my nephew and then it was blown. But anyway. Well, that's out of the truck. Um, I'm gonna try to look up, or maybe if you have a mega cab, I'll reach out to you and ask you to shoot me a couple pictures, maybe on Instagram, half fast 719. Um, shoot me a couple pictures and let me know what your guys' look like in your mega cab. Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. So, let me find some bolts. I'm gonna do that, and that's gonna be it for this little install chingadera and 
this stuff gets hot. This interior is hot. All right, guys. I'm going to move the truck, find some bolts, move the truck, and then, uh, and then uh, test those tires and wheels, see if they fit. So stay tuned for that video. Watch my last video on the fail, because I bought one, thought I got a good deal. Turns out I actually got this one for 80 bucks, and it's an actual storage compartment, not just a lid. So, all right, guys. That's it. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Thank you guys for sticking in. Thank you guys, all the subscribers I got. That's going to be it. All right, guys. Later.